Today, we are diving into the 25 best Dollar Tree hacks for Valentine's Day. And the first several projects and hacks, you're going to need a unique item, I think so anyway, a pizza pan. I love these because you can find them year round at most Dollar Tree stores. We're going to turn this into the base of a super cute charcuterie board for Valentine's Day. The first thing I did was grab some of those smaller hard doilies and another unique item we're going to use for the charcuterie are these measuring cups, the cutest little things. We just need to remove the handles and to do that, we're going to use one of my favorite affordable crafting tool supplies. They are called 10 snips. You can get these at Walmart for $5. I will make sure to link them down below for you to make them easy for you to find. Definitely can't live without these. They are great for thin wood and thin plastic like this. So we're basically just cutting those handles off of these little cups. So now we have little heart-shaped cups to add to our charcuterie. They are food safe. You can add food to them. You can add treats to them, snacks to them, ingredients to them, whatever you need, but they work perfectly on this pizza pan charcuterie. Then we're going to head to the holiday or the seasonal section at Dollar Tree and grab some of their Valentine's Day themed candies and snacks. You can also head to the candy aisle and just grab snacks that are red too or pink. That works great. And also some cookies, which I'll show you here in just a second. My best tip for creating charcuteries is to start with your larger items first. So in this case, the red vines and those larger cookies, aren't these perfect? They look like they came from an expensive bakery, but they're from Dollar Tree. We're also gonna add some of these pink wafer cookies from Dollar Tree. And then what you wanna do is start adding in smaller items to the smaller spaces that are left over. So I had some marshmallows, some pink Hershey Kisses, some silver Hershey Kisses, put those into those measuring cups and then filled in with this drizzled popcorn if you haven't tried this before it is so good very gourmet but obviously super affordable from dollar tree i also found some valentine's day themed tootsie rolls and then some heart-shaped chocolates just to kind of fill in here and there and make this whole cute charcuterie board come together this was definitely well loved by my family. It was a great kind of after school snack or great for Valentine's Day, especially for a nice dessert board. I also put it in the middle of a larger charcuterie board that I had that made it look a little bit nicer, but totally up to you how you want to display it. And we all just really enjoyed it. Next, you can also use the same idea and create instead of a food charcuterie board, a crafting charcuterie board. So same thing using a pizza pan those heart-shaped measuring cups and then put all kinds of fun crafting supplies on to the pizza pan and then also a dollar tree you can grab white wrapping paper you can roll that onto your table and use it as a table cover and also a fun space for kiddos to draw on the t the table itself or the wrapping paper itself to create some fun designs or just kind of save your work surface or table from any kind of crafting mess so you can also use pizza pans for your decor year round, but I wanna show you how to make one for Valentine's Day. We're gonna grab out some of this really pretty pink glossy spray paint, spray paint that a couple times and let it sit so it can harden and cure. And then back a Dollar Tree in their crafting section, I grabbed one of these wood hearts. So we're gonna cut the string off of the back of this and we are going to paint this one red. Once your paint has dried, we're gonna attach this onto the pizza pan with some super glue. I always suggest using super glue if you're making wreaths or if you are making any kind of door hanger like this one, as if you have really super high temperatures or cold temperatures, and you're gonna be putting that on your front door, the hot glue could potentially crack and break or melt down. So if it's gonna be seeing the elements, super glue is a better option for these. I also found this really cute love arrow sign at Dollar Tree, it was already painted white. Love that, adding a little bit more super glue onto the back of that and just kind of offsetting it onto the heart. 
Now you can leave it as is or add some more embellishments like I'm doing here with the help of some hot glue and some super glue, adding some greenery and a bow. And then to make this hang, we are going to take some ribbon. I just kind of made it in a U shape, add some hot glue onto the ribbon and set your sign right on top of that. Then you can flip your sign over to the backside. And I always suggest using some duct tape here that is going to doubly reinforce the hanger on the back so it doesn't fall down on you if you are opening or closing your door. So you can really run with this idea and use it for different holidays and seasons. And here is an example of that. I actually used a pizza pan to make this really pretty ice skating one, which was perfect for Christmas time and for winter time. You can also use these pizza pans to make your own little raised trays. We are gonna gussy this up a little bit more fancier with this hammered metal silver spray paint. So I just took this outside, gave it a couple coats of that, let it dry. I was so excited to have warm enough spray painting temperatures in January to be able to do this. And you can say, see, it just gives it more of a nicer finish versus the one that's just straight off the shelf, but totally up to you. You don't have to spray paint it at all if you don't want to, especially if you don't have those warmer tints during the winter months. We just got really lucky that year. We're going to add some of these white wood beads, which you can also find a Dollar Tree, adding some super glue onto the bottom of the beads and then offsetting them around the bottom of the pizza pan. So I thought it'd be really fun to make a whole vignette and set for our kitchen um, where we were needing a little bit of Valentine's Day decor. So I grabbed some other items from Dollar Tree to create this, including one of those paper heart doilies and a glass cylinder vase. I'm just adding a little bit of adhesive onto the doily, placing it on top of the vase, and then using some red and white baker's twine to twist around and tie a knot. It's a really easy way to dress up a vase, and then it's easy to just pop this off and use your vase year round. All right, so here we are in my kitchen. We're gonna take that tray and put it in the corner of the countertops and then take that vase and add that on top. I also have these beautiful faux tulips. I love these. I will link them down below for you. It just adds a little bit of color during the cold winter months. Kind of brings a little bit of happiness and color to the kitchen or wherever you're gonna be putting yours. Then I also found these great new glass candle holders at Dollar Tree and you can actually stack these. So I bought three of them, put two of them together and then left one just single onto the tray to give it a tiered effect. And then I love these taper candles because they are battery operated, but they look very real with the flicker and you can also turn them off and on with a remote. So I'll link those down below for you too. And then just adding a few extra items like a tin heart from Dollar Tree. This um, cutting board is from Dollar Tree and a towel that I already had. And here you can see that remote flipping on the candles. Very, very cute, simple. You could add this to the center of a coffee table or a side table, wherever you need a little bit of a raised tier vignette look. So we've had fun using pizza pans for decorative purposes and entertaining purposes, but they also have the purpose of being a pizza pan and they work great for that. You can even find pizza crust at Dollar Tree. You only need a few other supplies, which you may be able to find at Dollar Tree as well to make your own heart shaped pizza, which is super fun for the whole family or for a fun date night. So I just followed the directions on the back of the pizza crust um packaging and then mine kind of fell apart a little bit but no big deal you'll never see it once we get this pizza put together and i just took a knife and cut it into a heart shape and then just had fun letting my son decorate this pizza or add whatever ingredients he wanted to this pizza one other fun thing you can do is take a small cookie cutter that is heart shaped and cut out your pepperonis in heart shapes to really stay with the valentine's day theme
This was definitely a fun activity to do and obviously so delicious once this was all done and came out of the oven. There were so many great pizza pan ideas that I hope you'll give a try. Please make sure to thumbs up this video and let me know down in the comments which one of these pizza pan projects was your favorite. We're not done yet. We're gonna head back into Dollar Tree and grab some balloons. This is one of those items you can see all over Dollar Tree. During Valentine's Day, they have the ceilings just covered with them. So I thought I would show you some fun ideas of gift ideas and decor that you can create using those balloons. So we're going to take some of our favorite photos as a couple and I printed them out on my personal printer, which I will link down below for you. Another crafting supply item that I cannot live without. Headed back to Dollar Tree, grabbed these chalkboard heart shaped um, tags and we're going to use them as weights and bases to our balloons. But first we're going to decorate them up with those pictures. I kind of wish I would have printed the pictures off a little bit smaller, but it still works just fine if you use regular four by six size. So we're going to do that with a lot of the hearts, adding some pictures to them, but you can also take a chalk marker or a white paint pen and write little messages on the hearts too. If you want to skip doing the pictures or you can do a little bit of both. Then it's just as easy as taking your Dollar Tree balloons and tying the strings through the holes of the hearts. Take them into your home. I thought it'd be cute to put them on the bed, but you could put them on a dining room table, on the couch, wherever you wanna give a little surprise to your significant other. And it just makes for a really fun surprise and looks super cute too. And as you can see, those hearts definitely are the perfect size weight to hold them down. I also want to mention that I tied them in varying heights just so I didn't have all the hearts hanging out at the same height and it gives it more of a fun look that way. So I think it's super easy to just grab a balloon and give it as a gift, but this is a fun way to dress it up even further and make it a little bit more special. You can do it really, really easy by grabbing some tissue paper. We're gonna fold it in half lengthwise and cut it down the center so we have two pieces. And then we are going to take that, we're gonna fold it in half to make more of a square shape. And then we are going to fold the top over so we have like a little lip on the top and we're gonna cut some strips up to that line. We're gonna leave the top solid, but we're gonna cut little slits all the way from the bottom up to that line. So I did that to two pieces and we're gonna shake those out and grab our balloon and we're gonna take a stapler and we are going to staple that tissue paper onto the bottom. You don't wanna do it where there is air, obviously, because if you pop a hole in that, you're gonna lose the helium from your balloon. So go as far down the bottom of the little tail of the balloon as you can, staple the tissue paper onto that and then staple additional tissue paper onto that to make a longer streamer for your balloon. How fun is this? It just adds a little pop of something special and makes it look a little more fancy. You can also personalize your balloons really easily with some vinyl. So if you have a vinyl machine, you can just take some regular vinyl, cut out a design or a message with your vinyl machine. I'm using some matte black vinyl here, but Dollar Tree also carries vinyl that you could use and cut out too in whatever colors you want. And then once you have it weeded, literally just putting it onto the balloon like you would any other kind of vinyl with the help of a transfer sheet. We're gonna peel the paper backing away from the transfer sheet and then apply the decal onto the front of the balloon. Thank you. 
I had a little trouble with using a really thin font for this, so I just came in with a fine point Sharpie marker and filled in where it needed a little extra love. And especially here where it says love too. So very easy. You don't have to get too particular about it. And this works perfectly if you just want to use a Sharpie marker to draw a design on your balloons too. So here's what it looks like once we get that decal transferred on there. Very, very cute. You could even add some of those streamers to the bottom of this to really dress it up. If you do not have a vinyl machine, you can head to Dollar Tree and they have all kinds of wall stickers that you could use. They even have crafting stickers and scrapbook stickers you could use. But I thought these would be perfect because they have a transparent background so I just peeled these right off the paper backing here and applied them onto the balloon looks so pretty and definitely one of a kind and a personalized idea of how to dress up these inexpensive Dollar Tree balloons So I know last year Dollar Tree was having some helium shortages and supply issues, but don't think you can't create some thoughtful balloon gift ideas by just having helium. You can also grab some of their latex balloons and make some really thoughtful gift ideas too. For this one, we're gonna make a hot air balloon with the help of one of these baskets. They actually come in a set of two, so really, really affordable. And we're gonna grab some red latex balloons and some paper straws. All you have to do to create this hot air balloon is take some tape and tape three of those paper straws onto the inside of the basket, and then take one of your latex balloons, blow it up, and we're gonna set that right on top of those paper straws. Then tie a knot and we are going to set that on top and then use a little bit of scotch tape to attach the balloon onto the straws. And then you can add whatever gift you want into the basket. Also a little bit of tissue paper helps here to kind of dress it up. The bear is also from Dollar Tree, so a very thoughtful but inexpensive gift idea. You can also dress up the balloon like we did with the butterfly balloon and add a sticker on there or leave it as is. My son actually used this hot air balloon as his Valentine's Day box at school. So that is a great idea for kiddos to do and help create this too. I will have more Valentine's Day ideas over on my Instagram. I'll have the QR code popping up on your screen. You can scan that, head over and follow me there, or also have a link down in the description box. Definitely head over and follow on Instagram for more Dollar Tree DIYs and ideas. Have you seen these impressive balloon towers? You can make them too, I promise. They are super easy to do. We're gonna grab three different colors of balloons from Dollar Tree and also one of these miniature Mylar balloons on sticks. It's gonna be the top of our tower, but we're gonna start by filling up our latex balloons. And I actually grabbed out our uh, tire pressure thing. I don't know what they're called, but it's battery powered love this thing it is so handy especially with my son that plays soccer who's always needing his soccer balls filled up anyway it's easy to just use this to blow up your balloon especially if you're gonna be doing a bunch of balloons or a big balloon tower um, or an archway these will save your lungs so for this tower i'm going to use uh, four red balloons for the bottom so these are going to be larger size balloons blew them up individually, tied two together, and then took those two and interlaced them in the middle and just twisted them together to stay. Now the next layer we are going to use for pink balloons and just like the red ones, we are going to fill up all four put two together and then twist all four together in the center. The thing about this layer is though, we want these balloons to be a little bit smaller and less blown up than the layer below it. And the exact same thing with our top layer, which is gonna be white balloons. These we're not gonna blow up, up quite as much as the layer below it, but same thing. Twisting two together and then twisting the four together to attach them together. 
Now we're gonna set these all on top of each other, but offsetting them so the balloons on above it kind of sit in between the balloons below it. And to attach them, I'm using some string, also from Dollar Tree. You could use some of the paper ribbon you can get from the uh, gift wrap section at Dollar Tree too. That would work. And you just tie it together, tie a knot in the bottom, and these will all sit together. We're gonna take that Mylar balloon, take the stick off, and use some double-sided tape on the bottom of that balloon, and we're gonna stick that right on top of this tower. So this obviously would make a really great easy gift idea, one that's a little bit more impressive, but definitely doesn't cost a ton, or it would also make a great decoration for a party or a classroom. You can also make this taller by adding more layers of balloons. I found these really cute heart-shaped balloons at Dollar Tree, and they have confetti in them. Very, very cute. So I thought it'd make a fun flower-shaped balloon bouquet. So we're gonna take these latex balloons, and you're also gonna need one other color, uh, regular round balloon, and we're gonna start blowing these up. So I started thinking I wanted five of these because odd numbers, right? So I blew five of those balloons up and then twisted them all together in the center and then I popped one of them. So actually four balloons works best for this and they will all lay flat a lot better if you just use the four. If you can squeeze in the five, go right ahead. Then we are going to take our uh, solid colored balloon and add that to the center to create the center of our flower. So this again is super duper cute, great gift idea, and another great way to make some inexpensive decorations for your home, for a party, for a classroom, wherever you're needing that little bit of inexpensive decoration. You can also use balloons to put gifts inside of, which I thought was a really sweet and fun idea. So I grabbed some of these heart-shaped chocolates from Dollar Tree, and we are just gonna put some of those into one of these heart-shaped latex balloons and then blow it up. To dress it up just a little bit more, we're gonna take another one of these paper straws and we're gonna tape it onto the bottom of the balloon where the knot is. Then you can add a Valentine on there or you can make a little gift tag. I had some of this pink scrapbook paper. We're gonna cut it down into a rectangle size, fold it in half, cut off any excess if it's a little bit too long. And then we're gonna take our scissors and chop the corners off of the folded side and then pop a hole into the top there with a hole punch and then tie our little tag onto our gift. So those are some really fun and easy and affordable Valentine's Day balloon ideas. Now we're gonna hit the crafting section and make some fun decorative items. The first one, we're gonna grab some of these wood hearts from Dollar Tree and also a piece of sandpaper and sand off any of the imperfections and any splinters. And we're gonna make these into some faux cookies. So we want the, the base to look like cookies. So I grabbed out a light tan paint and painted them to look like a cookie. And we're gonna use some spackling from Dollar Tree as the frosting. So to do that, we're just gonna open this up, take a popsicle stick and just kind of mix it up so it gets all incorporated in there. And we're gonna take our popsicle stick and lay out some of that spackling onto the top of the cookies until we're happy with the look. Thank you. 
Now that our cookies are nice and frosted, we're gonna add some sprinkles, but obviously some faux sprinkles. So I found these on Amazon. I'll link them down below for you. And we're just gonna take those and we are going to randomly sprinkle them onto the cookie. It also helps to just push them down into the spackling a little bit so they have something to grab onto. You can also add some acrylic paint to your spackling if you want a colored frosting just add a little bit into your spackling container and mix it up with your popsicle stick until it's nice and incorporated and then same steps here you're going to take your spackling and add it onto your cookie and add some sprinkles I love the Dollar Tree it carries these beaded wreaths because this this is the cheapest I've ever seen them anywhere from craft stores to other discount stores. Grab these, they're only $1.25 and we are gonna turn this one into a heart. So where they connect at the bottom, we are gonna pinch it down into a V shape and then straight directly across from that, we're gonna take that and we're gonna also bend that into a V shape to give us a heart shaped wreath. I'm gonna be using the neutral tone of the beads for mine, but you can also paint them if you wanted to. And then we're gonna embellish this. So instead of using this on our front door, I'm just gonna use this as a little shelf sitter decorative piece. So I have this pink and white gingham ribbon, and we're gonna tie that into a really simple bow and then just attach it onto our wreath with some hot glue. So this just turned out so pretty. I love the simplicity of it. It was mess free, quick, and of course, super affordable being from Dollar Tree. Next, candles. I mean, during Valentine's Day, I love candles everywhere. And this is a really easy way to dress up some of these tea light candles you can get from Dollar Tree. We're gonna use some washi tape. And you all know I am obsessed with washi tape. I use it anytime I can. And this is a perfect example of how to dress up some of these candles with some of that washi tape. We're just gonna take it and we are going to wrap it around the metal piece of the candles. And it's just gonna very simply dress it up as Add some color and add some style. So now let's make a Valentine's Day envelope 
but instead of paper, let's use some felt, which you can also find at Dollar Tree. I grabbed some white felt, unrolled it, and we are going to just fold that in half to make a perfect square. To do that, you just pull one of the corners up along the side so it matches up, and then cut the top straight so that we have a square when we open it up. And then you can sew this, but I'm a firm believer in my hot glue gun and this amazing magical material called Fabric Sticks by Surebonder. They are for fabric, so I will link those down below for you. Cannot live without them. We're gonna use that to glue our envelope into shape, just making sure we pull those corners into the center, but don't do the top one where it's going to be the opening of our envelope. Then we're gonna take some of that same fabric glue and add some ribbon and a ribbon and loop off to the side and then you can pull your top of your envelope down. We're going to dress this up with some red felt here, just cutting a little piece and cutting it or folding it in half to create a heart shape and then we are going to glue that onto the front of our envelope. Now to dress it up a little bit more, grab some puffy paint. Sometimes you can find this at Dollar Tree, but I usually get mine at Walmart, but I'll link what I use down in the description box below for you. You just wanna add some little dashes onto the top of the envelope. Just gives it a little bit more style. You do wanna let it sit overnight though, because it does take a while to dry. And this is our finished project. So you can put a little treat in there, a note in there. You can make several of these to make a garland, or you could hang them on the backs of the chairs in the morning for little ones as a surprise. Now we're gonna dress up these pillar candles, which you can get from Dollar Tree, but we're gonna make them have some Valentine's Day style. We're gonna take some pink felt and we're gonna cut a little strip off, fold it in half, just like the other one, and cut the half shape of a heart out. So that way we have a equal sized heart on both sides. You just kind of create that shape and if you have to refold it and cut it down, you have that option. And then just do that twice. Since I have two candles, we're gonna make two hearts here and we are easily going to attach these onto the candles with some string. I love this idea because it is removable so you're not damaging your candle in any way and you can take these off and use them after Valentine's Day and decorate them in a different way if you want to. So that string just holds it on there, tied a knot in the back, and then you have some really pretty candles that are perfect for Valentine's Day. I found these foam hearts at Dollar Tree and I just had to do something with them. I wasn't sure, but I grabbed it and we are just gonna make a really fun pom-pom style uh, styrofoam heart. I found these pom-poms at Dollar General, but you can find pom-poms at craft stores and at Dollar Tree. I just really like the colors of these and they were only a dollar versus Dollar Tree's new $1.25 price tag. So <laughs> I'm just using some hot glue to attach the pom-poms randomly around the front side of this styrofoam heart. If you want to do the back, you can. You just need more pom-poms, but I'm going to be hanging mine on a window that you're not going to see the back, or it's actually a window frame. You'd probably see the back side if you did a window, a window frame. Um, and then we're going to just take an awl here and we're going to poke a hole in the top and use that to attach some ribbon and a ribbon loop on there so we can hang this. I have three different ideas to show you using these party favor rings that you get from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of 10. We're not gonna be using them for rings or for party favors though. We're gonna take this and some gold leaf spray paint, take them outside, give them a couple coats of that, and it's really going to dress them up and kind of take 
the gaudiness look out of these rings. Super fun when you're a kid, or you know what, I probably should wear one whenever I'm Valentine's Day crafting. That would be cute for videos. But I went ahead and spray painted all of these in that gold just to give them a little bit more of a fancy look. Once they are dry, we are gonna take the back or the ring part off of these using some pliers, and then you can use them as embellishments. So this first idea, we're gonna grab some of these flat-backed thumbtacks and just hot glue these hearts onto those, or actually I'm going to super glue those on there. You can find this, I love this gel super glue from Dollar Tree. It works really, really well and it doesn't smear or ooze like regular traditional super glue. So you're just adding a little bit of that onto those thumbtacks, letting them sit and dry, and then you can use them for your bulletin boards. What a cute way to leave notes or dress up your Valentine's Day bulletin board. You can also add them on to some clothespins. You can find tons of these at Dollar Tree too. You can paint them or I love using paint pins when I can because it dries so much faster and it's a lot less messy. So I just used some red here and colored the top using some hot glue to then add one of those gold hearts onto the front and then you can add them to the tops of your treat bags. Add a little bit of ribbon or a gift tag or a valentine on there to dress it up even more. And then last with this idea, like I said, you can use them as embellishments. So we made these candles earlier. If you add a little bit of hot glue onto the front of this, you can add one of those gold hearts to the center, like I said, as a little bling bling embellishment. You can find these clear glass bottles at Dollar Tree usually year round and they're fun to craft with for the different holidays and seasons and we're gonna do that for Valentine's Day. So I also grabbed some of their vinyl here. This isn't the greatest for cutting on vinyl machines but it is great for crafting with. And in this case we're kind of gonna make a masking sticker. So again folding it in half and cutting a heart shape and we're going to put that right onto the front center of this bottle. And then we are going to remove the metal lid here. It's easy to just un unlock it and then pull the sides off and then all that metal part will come off of the bottle for you. Then we're gonna take it outside. Again, a beautiful day for some spray painting. I love it. Spray painting is my favorite way to paint and during November, December, January, February, we just don't usually get this kind of weather. So I always take advantage of the warm weather when we can. And so I just gave this thing a couple coats of red spray paint, let it dry, came in with my weeding tool, and then removed that sticker to reveal a nice heart-shaped window. And then this just makes a fun and a really pretty decorative piece. Like you can see here on my mantle, I added some of those tulips in there so you can use it as a vase. You could also put a taper candle in the top and use it as a, ta a taper candle holder or put some treats and candy in there as a gift idea, add some ribbon, add a tag. So lots of different things you can do with that. Now back to these awesome heart doilies. I love them. We're gonna make a little gift idea um, with the help of a pencil and some scissors. So we're gonna take our scissors, fold it in half and cut slits on the heart. Take a pencil. This is just a colored pencil. It doesn't have to be this pencil. It can be a pen if you want. It could be a paintbrush if you want. And then we're going to take some scrapbook paper and we are going to cut this first one into a heart shape. Same thing I've been doing this whole video, just folding the paper in half and cutting half a heart shape, opening it up and then using that for the front and the back side, we're gonna make the feathers of this arrow. So basically two V shapes, cutting some slits into the sides and that gives it that feathering effect. And then we're gonna use some double-sided tape or you can use these awesome glue dots from Dollar Tree to attach the paper onto the front and back side of your pencil and it makes for a really cute gift idea. Thank you. 
So I love that quick, easy, and super affordable Valentine's Day gift idea. This next one is also really easy and affordable too. We're gonna use a piece of computer paper here and we are going to twist it into a cone shape. So you just take one of those corners, roll it up so you get a point at one end and an opening at the other end and then use some scotch tape to attach everything and keep it all down so we keep that cone shape. Then in comes our doily. We are going to add that onto the front of this cone. I'm gonna use some tape here again to attach it, but you could also use some of that baker's twine, wrap that around it and give it a little bit more style if you want to. But super easy to just add some tape onto the backside so it stays on. Then you can use this to fill with treats and candy and gifts or letters, confetti. And another great idea here is to use these disposable icing bags that you can get from Dollar Tree and add some treats in there so it doesn't get any of the food on your paper. It kind of keeps it in a food safe packaging. You just twist it up with some ribbon and set it right down into your cone. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me your favorite heart colored emoji down in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll have more awesome Dollar Tree DIY videos popping up on your screen. Go ahead and click that and I will see you over there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a creative day.